Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the Ballistica Axe Murder House investigation. This place was no joke. We appreciate having the opportunity to go out and check out the Ballistica Axe Murder House in Ballistica, Iowa. For those of you that know what the Ballistica Axe Murder House, we hope you guys enjoy the content. And for those of you who are unaware what the Ballistica Axe Murder House is, this place is considered to be one of the most haunted locations in the United States. It's on multiple lists, and with that being said, We'll let everything else speak for itself. We do have Johnny who's going to explain some of the history here at the Ballistica Axe Murder House. And we hope you guys appreciate the content. If you're a fan of the paranormal, a fan of traveling, maybe just a fan of investigations in general, feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. We do a ton of that on this channel and I can guarantee you ain't going to want to miss this. So with that being said, let's get to the content and we appreciate each and every single one of you. Are you guys familiar with the history at all or? Yes and no. The, because everyone alters it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, for sure. And so we we do have a rundown of most of the history, but it's been altered so much through the years that we don't truly know. Mm -hmm. so, but I'd like to hear it, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, the facts of the case are they had the church service that night. They came home with Ina and Lena Stillinger, two friends. Mm -hmm. Next day, they were found by the neighbor, Mary Peckham. Um, the weird crime scene of the mirrors covered with sheets, food at the table, bloody water, all that stuff. So legit, uh, half the town trampled through the house destroying the crime scene. Then you get all these vigilante posses looking for a blood-soaked lunatic hiding in a barn. Right. We're finding a bunch of stuff now that, like, the cigarette butts in the attic, there's no documents oh, talking sorry. about that anywhere. Lena having the defensive wound, when they prepped the bodies for burial, it wiped off, it's just blood. It was just smeared So you get all these people wandering through the house, they just see blood on her arm, assume it was a defensive wound. And I'm assuming the same thing with the cigarette butts, somebody probably... Probably put it on the floor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then 20 minutes later, the camera left a cigarette butt. Yep. Uh, there's nothing sexual done, they look for signs of bodily fluids, nothing anywhere. Um, the bacon is a big one. Mm -hmm. I've seen all this stuff of the bacon was a homemade vagina. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. It's like it, it wasn't raw, fatty meat just laying on the floor. Like, why would they have that? It was cured bacon, which is kind of salted so it doesn't yeah. spoil, dried out, wrapped up in a cloth with a nice little bow tied on it. And it was just leaned up against the wall in the downstairs room. Hmm. How do you kill eight people and no one wakes up? They thought maybe chloroform was used. They said that much chloroform would, would have affected the person using it. Yeah. Um, they thought a hired hit. They talked to hitmen in prison. They all said, good luck finding somebody that's gonna hurt kids and women. But it's a code within that element. Right. Um, no breaking and entering, nothing stolen. This whole man from the train idea of a early traveling serial killer, new evidence that's gonna blow the lid off the case. They knew about that 111 years ago. Mm -hmm. To the point where a bunch of the other towns came to Villisca to have like a two or three day meeting with the police to see what was all connected. They left going, probably not. Yeah. Axe murders happened all the time, you know. And the big smoking gun that people try and draw lines to today is the wicks ripped in half on the oil lamps. Hmm. Killer didn't invent that. Yeah. It's like you light two of them, it's bright. You light one, it's not as bright. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> you know, killer didn't invent it. Like people did that, but we don't use oil lamps, so we just right. we don't know that anymore. Um, but our brains try and connect the dots. As far as the haunting stuff, I don't think the family's here whatsoever. I don't think they've ever been here. The stuff that happens isn't something nine-year-old Catherine would be doing, assuming right. we keep the same personality and death as we do life. But uh, this is very typical. Guy by himself gets an EVP of a woman saying a woman's name. Clear as a day. I listen to it and I'm like, that name doesn't ring a bell historically. I'll do some digging. He goes, no, that was his girlfriend's name 33 years ago in Texas, oh. who's still alive. To me, that's something going, I know everything about you, and I want you to know I know everything yeah. about you. Next night, YouTubers from Maryland, same thing. Voice from their past, super personal to them. It's like, hmm. Why would Catherine Moore do that? You right. know? John Worley got kindred spirits down here because 
he got an EVP that said kill John Worley and just like everybody gets that kill insert name it's yeah. the axe house you know yeah. mm-hmm. it's like you were here you're fine what's it going to kill you a year from now at Walmart you know yeah. <laughs> Uh, so there's a very Amityville mental manipulation thing happening. Uh, and I tell people, just like, somebody starts getting weird, take a break. <laughs> go get a candy bar. <laughs> like, yeah. You'll have to go balls to the wall here, you know. Because yeah. um, of the, like, the dude in 2014 that shoved the knife through his chest in the downstairs. Oh, room. see, and that's another thing. <laughs> you know, I've you know, been investigating for a while now and haven't really heard of much like that before Mm -hmm. you know and then his story compared to you know quite frankly what he came with three people right yep and he was left alone yeah so he he wanted to do like an isolation session in the house and he's provoking so when i was left he goes i'm going to give the house a piece of my mind okay (laughs) (laughs) have fun with that right Um, I look at the house as like rose red. Mm. The house is haunting itself. It's its own entity. Some people will have great experience. Oh, the kids rolled a ball. I felt one kiss me on the hand. Like, well, last night's group ran out of here at 10 p.m. I got to mail all their gear back to them. Like, <laughs> how is this even the same place? <laughs> you know? Um, I think it just gives you what you put into it. You want to shake the hornet's nest or hit it with a baseball bat? Good luck. If you, want, if you think you're interacting with the kids, I don't think it was a little kid that kissed you on the hand, but right. what do I know? You know, <laughs> what a better way to gain trust from somebody than pretending you're a little kid. Exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. Um, I think, and Reverend Kelly said a shadow gave him the weapon, told him to kill, followed the shadow, this and that. It's like, nobody's talking about shadow figures in 1918. Yeah. Ronald DeFeo said a shadow gave him the weapon, told him to kill, same confession almost. That's the Amityville case. Yeah. Eight people killed, nobody wakes up. There are uh, six people killed with a rifle, no one wakes no up. Wakes up. That is bizarre. And was it was it storming that night? Do you know by any chance? It was over, yeah, storming and overcast. Okay. Supposed to storm tonight. All right, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say 90% of the stuff happens upstairs, for sure. Okay. The the downstairs bedroom is where the guy shoved a knife through his chest, but living room, kitchen, almost safe zones. The whole upstairs is where it's at, for sure. Okay. Have fun with that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're, bringing, they're doing seances in the house, and it's just like... Have you not watched a scary movie? Let's do a seance. Yeah, right. What you doing? <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> and there's so many similarities between here and the Sally House. Oh, yeah. Same addresses. Tony Depp Pickman did an overnight here 15, 20 years ago. Tony goes, whatever's in his old house was in here. Same thing. Um, super weird. Yeah. My joke was I want to create my own Annabelle and sell it as 